Oh my god. We've just done some shopping in the Abercrombie store and now we're heading to St. Andrew's Square and then we're going for lunch. <laughs> But today has has been unreal like I just can't believe that happened <laughs> I was asked by Abercrombie to spend the day with them doing stories and content coming into store then met the team went out for lunch it was like the most amazing day of my life if you've been watching my videos then you will probably know that I quit my job to do social media full-time this year um, like a month ago and it's been absolutely crazy and non-stop since and I honestly just can't believe that things like this are happening for me because I do have under 10,000 followers like it's crazy <laughs> it's so crazy yeah I can't believe that just happened that was amazing we started out the day at Burr and Co and met them for coffee I drank my coffee before I got any videos of it but um, that was so lovely. And then we headed over to the Abercrombie store, as you saw. Did some browsing and shopping. We got to pick up some bits, so I've got two bags full of some stuff. I'll give you guys like a haul when I get home. But I'm just gonna head home now. Yeah, we'll catch up with you guys. I'm gonna drive home now. Oh, what is my life? <laughs> with Eva she's stressing out as per usual we've just arrived to a, a PR event we've got to go in now but uh, I'm stressing out because shit I need to put heels on because I don't really know why I look really summery you it's, do uh, it's literally 10 degrees guys <laughs> it feels warm in the car though yeah but it's gonna be freezing when I step outside it'll be nice when you go in I feel like I'm the only person that's not wearing a dress yeah, I'm wearing jeans and a really cute top you should see the tan on my feet is awful. Oh my god, it is. Yeah. Like, oh my god, don't look at my half hair. Like, oh, oh my god. god. No, 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 we, we actually can't put that in. <laughs> Hopefully nobody looks. <laughs>
excuse the fact that I look like this. <laughs> um, I just had a very exciting delivery come up from the door and it was basically the new G7X. I mean, it's not new. We have the G7X Mark III. This is my new camera. I did a little unboxing over on my TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, I now own the G7X Mark III and I used to vlog with it, the Mark I, for years. It had water damage. I hated the Mark II because the back of the this was on on the Mark II kept falling off, like the mechanics of it, because it can like tilt, like you see there. On the Mark II, that would come out um, quite a lot, so. I never wanted the Mark II because everyone's screens fell off. But I keep seeing the flash digital photography photos that people are using with it and it is amazing for photos. I used to use it for my Instagram. And then I obviously have my Sony here. So I thought I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison of what the two look like because Sony are notorious for the video quality being better. The, the Canon G7X is so much better for digital photos. Also, the Sony doesn't have a flash. So I did buy an external flash mount for it. But as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. I'd say the G7X is just a little bit heavier and a tiny bit thicker, but that's it really. The Sony camera obviously flips out to the side, whereas the G7X flips out to the top. So I'm gonna put both cameras up and then we can see a little side by side comparison. So I currently have my hand stretched out as far as it will physically go on the Sony there you can see. So this is as far, the one thing about the Sony that is, is very quite cropped and zoomed in. I prefer a much wider angle, which is why I do vlog with my Canon M50 because I have that 11 millimeter lens. You can turn the stabilization off on this and it makes it wider, but you need the stabilization on because otherwise it's gonna be so shaky. You do have the general blur faced smoothing. I think mine's on low or off, but there's always still like a little bit. Very flattering, but let's move over to the G7X. So here is what it looks like with the G7X. I'm holding my camera out the exact same as far away and it is a bit wider, it's not as cropped. But yeah, there's none of that face blurring or brightening, smoothing. You can see all my pores and everything. I find the stabilization is a lot better than on the Sony. I can move it around and it's nowhere near as shaky. Um, but I still have some playing around with this to do in terms of like, right now it's very dark. So that last one was in the video blog mode. This is just the standard video. And then this is in HDR because you can shoot in HDR. Right now I think I'm filming in 50 frames per second on like high, high quality um, setting, but it also shoots in 4K. So I'm gonna put 4K on. So this is it now in 4K. So it shoots in 4K too. The Mark one definitely did not, or if it did, I had no idea that it did. But yeah, this is, the G7X, I will say that the one thing that I do love about the Sony is that when you record a little red light flashes here and on the G7X there is now this like red record button flashing on the screen. You can kind of see it there, it just flashes. And to record I have to like use the touch screen to press the record button. So I need to figure out like the shortcuts and stuff but yeah as you can see the red light comes on there so which one do you guys prefer these are sitting right next to each other and i think that kind of shows the difference in the, the wide angle shot you can see everything around me in my g7x and these cameras are right next to one another <laughs> yeah two completely different cameras which one do you even notice the difference probably not i feel like i've gone through so many cameras i had the um canon rebel t3i but yeah i had my canon rebel t3i and my standard canon lenses and then you know, the Canon G7X Mark I, the original vlog camera, I had that, water damaged it twice and had to get it repaired. <laughs> then I had a 60D or a 70D, one or the other, with my Sigma lenses for that blurry background. And then I wanted a vlog camera that wasn't the G7X Mark I because it died. I then moved over to an Olympus pen and I hated it for videos. I absolutely hated it. Then I got the EOS M50 after I sold my Olympus and I loved that, though it is a 
much bulkier camera like this is it here but I do have my lenses like my Sigma lenses and my blurry background type of shot so I do use this as like my main sit down recording um, camera oh my god I also had a Canon M6 I've had way too many cameras but for compact I need something that I can chuck in my purse I want it to take digital photos and videos for Instagram vlogs TikToks everything I just feel like the G7X is where I'm at right now so yeah let me know what your, your guys thoughts are on the two of these i don't even know if there's a difference and i don't know about the audio for the g7x yet potentially time for me to retire this bad boy she was great while she lasted and i really did love it for for filming and how compact and small and light it was but now the g7x is the same size and i can do photos as well as videos much nice photos with flash so no one even watches my videos anyways so if you're sad listening to about cameras like thanks in my head i just make videos for myself and i rewatch them like five times and no one else does so this is just for more of myself <laughs> yeah all right let's do that